Hey guys, John here. Today we're in the Juno 6V, so let's see what we can do in five minutes. Start the countdown and let's go to a new preset and let's see what we have. Ah, such a good sound. Okay, so let's see. That's a pulse wave there, maybe some sub. Some release. little loud here. Okay, let's do chorus. Let's do the second one. This synth is nice because it just, it sounds good and it's so easy to use and there's really not that many parameters, so it's kind of like you always get a good sound for the most part. Okay, let's give us some uh, some little effects here. So let's get maybe get a little bit of delay. Get about stereo. Maybe a little less feedback. Let's go maybe 16. Okay, maybe some reverb here. Maybe a little bit bigger, right? Larger than live, some more decay. And full dampening for this one, I think. Okay, so let's maybe make this an ARP here. So let's go up, down, let's turn the arpeggio on, and then maybe a range of two and see how that sounds. Let me back off the uh, filter a little bit. Give us some keyboard tracking. And maybe a little bit of high pass right here. Maybe like 168 or something like that. All right, let's try maybe um, both courses. So it kind of goes a little mono. Nah, let's keep it on two. And then maybe for the voice calibration, we're going to go to average. What does portamento sound for this? Maybe a little bit less, maybe like 18 milliseconds, something like that. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah, I think I'm actually happy with that. That sounds actually pretty good. So, uh, yeah, let's call this the... Man, see, this is the hardest part is naming something. What do we call this? The Moonrise Arp. Okay, that's that's gonna be the Moonrise Arp. Okay, so if you want to get the Moonrise Arp, there is a link in the video description below, and it can be yours. So thank you for watching. Bye.